to episode 12 of my Better Than Wolves Let's Play. Um, in this episode we are going to link up my bellows to mechanical power so I can stoke my stewing pot and then we can move on in the world. So to do that I'm going to need to route the power from over here to there and along the way I'm going to have to add in a little clock that turns the mechanical power on and off to the bellows so that it gets pumped up and down and I'm going to do that using a turntable. Um, so I'm just going to quickly make my turntable and try demo it. I'm also going to need to make quite a lot more of my um, axles and gearboxes. So I'll grab what I've got and we'll run across and work up in the sawmill room I think since we're doing woodwork and produce what we can. Um, oh yeah, these still these have finished making all their carbon pounder and ground netherrack, so we'll turn off the mills for now. We'll leave the main power on because we need it to power the saw blade. So to make a turntable we're gonna need some gears and we're gonna need lots of gears for making all sorts of things, axles and gearboxes. So what I'm going to quickly do is chop some of this wood into sidings, like so. I'm going to take these sidings, chop them all, oh. and extend to place two. It's because I'm just holding down the right mouse button now, because that one above is providing use now, I guess. So we'll turn all these sidings into mouldings. ourselves. So now we've got a lot of mouldings. So I'm going to turn these mouldings into a lot of corners. Like so. That's probably enough. Um, so now I can turn these corners into gears. So that's a lot of gears a little bit of wood. Um, and of course there's ways of automating all of this. I could build my saw in a way where I have water collecting all this, all the products, leading them into a hopper. Um, and you can eventually have block dispensers which dispense the, you know, bits of wood in front of the saw blade, so it's all completely automated. Um, so what do we need from here? I've got some gears. Let's quickly nip downstairs because I've got a good supply of rope down here. the wood out of there, because we're going to make a decent supply of axles, that should last just a little while, and let's see if we can remember how to make a gearbox off the top of our head, don't want to make too many, won't need too many gearboxes. Right, is it like that? It's either like this or the wood and the gears are going to have to be all be swapped. Yeah, the wood and the gears are all going to have to be swapped. Oh, I beg your pardon, that was a text enthusiastic phone beeping away there. So there we go, we've got some more gearboxes, some axles, and now let's make our turntable. Want to have the required materials. Um, just need a bit of smooth stone to make the turntable. Gives me time to read my text. Uh, cool. It's all to do with, I've just been hearing from the insurance company, because remember I said I crashed my bike. Um, the bike's been written off, that's how bad a crash it was. Uh, but I'm going to get about £3,000 for it. So I've got about £1,500 on the credit and then pay a bit on the excess, so it should leave me just over a grand to put down a deposit for a new car as I'm no longer going to be riding a motorbike because I don't, I don't really want to die young. So we'll wait till I'm about 40 and then we'll be back on the old bike. 20, um, 23 is a bit young to die, I think. Um, I need some sidings, it's always the way. Always the way. So, redstone in the middle, smooth stone down the sides. This is very similar to the hibachi, but in the middle is where it changes slightly. And along the t top. So that is a turntable. There we go. So now these require mechanical power uh, from the bottom, has to be from the bottom. 
So I am going to have a bit of mechanical power come off this gear because it's handy. I've no idea how I've managed to put that there because I've got skills. Must have hit the torch. So I'm just going to move that aside. Get that wall. Hello. And I'm going to place my gearbox. And now we know the whole empty handed trick. So I can place it on here. Apparently I can't. <laughs> I'll place it on the end of this axle. And obviously it's facing me, which is the wrong way, but with an empty hand I can right click and now it's the correct way. Um, and I'm going to want it to be underground actually. But I guess I'll just. Yeah, I'll route it underground all the way, keep things neat and tidy. So we're going to have a one, two, three. Uh, I haven't got any shovels on me. And then we're going to have another gearbox. I can face that in the correct way. I guess we'll go down another two. And have that facing up as well. Power coming in. And now we can route the power going along like this. Um, I'll cover it over when it's done, but I'll leave it open so I don't get completely lost at the moment. So you can see you are going to need quite a lot of gearboxes and axles when you're getting into this better than launch mod. I'll um, quickly finish this off off camera to save on time, so see you in a sec. There we go. I've had the perfect number of gearboxes just run out. So um, the power comes out the windmill, down, it's going to run along underground here, I'll cover this up, and it's coming up into the bottom of this turntable. And it also then splits off and comes up into this. For the bellows, I just need to put one more bit of axle in. So when I do, the bellows will receive power and compress. So they gave one puff, but obviously I need the power to go on and off, so it keeps puffing on and off. So this is what this turntable is going to come in handy. Um, this chicken is driving you mad as well. Oh my god. You can see why people have their animal farms hidden away. <laughs> to get some peace and quiet. So. We need this to provide power on and off for this. So apparently if you right click, I don't know if you can hear the faint ticking. If you right click, you can change the speed from fastest to slowest. So the best way of visualising this is I'll put a block on there. And believe it or not, that block is rotating. And the way to be able to see it is say if I put a torch. See that torch? It is spinning around. If I stand on it, it is spinning around. And then if I right click on this block empty handed, it slows it down. So now it's going every two seconds. And if I do it again, I slow down to every four seconds. And then that will be I think every 8 seconds, or it's every 4 seconds now, so it might be half a second, then a second, then 2, and then 4. So apparently, I've heard a good way of having it, is to have it on the second slowest. Thinking about it, I might actually quickly just move this down a level. So the turntables uh, I want to go get that bit of axle. So the turntable's actually under the ground like that. And from what I've seen it's a good way of doing it is to have it on the second slowest. Um I'm gonna use a bit of wool. So I will have that there spinning round and now I need two redstone torches. timing that seems to work apparently. On here. So let that spin around. So there we go, that's rotating. And now if I just power this block, um, so there you go, that's being turned on and off. And the bellows are pumping up and down. See that? I've actually done something that works. 
So yeah, every time a redstone torch comes in contact with that wire, it activates power to this gearbox. And when it's receiving power, it turns off. And when it stops receiving power, it turns back on. So my bellows are being pumped up and down. So now this stewing pot has been heated enough so that you can rend things. So um, I'm pretty sure if I put leather into this pot, it will be able to rend the leather into glue. And now this glue functions in the same way as slime balls. So I can use it to make sticky pistons. Oh uh, yeah. And I can also use it to make water wheel blades. So I can now make water wheels. Um, and the amount of things that are possible now are slowly going to kind of take off exponentially. So I can make water wheels. Also using this turntable device, I can now uh, use it to mould clay into different shapes. And you need to make things out of clay, so I can make a crucible out of clay, and that's used when smelting steel in a kiln. Um, I also need a kiln to fire all my clay products, my unfired clay products, and the kiln is made by having stoked fire with the bellows and placing, you know the red bricks you can make from digging up some clay from the water, you make those red bricks, it just has to be built out of that in a little specific shape and then that functions as the kiln you literally place your unfired pottery inside it um, and then you can make a crucible and use that crucible to make steel and you can also make urns and you need these urns to capture the souls and you do that from when you're doing crazy stuff with stuff from the nether and the hoppers um, so yeah it's all going to get a bit crazy now so I'm going to have to take it slowly and kind of do a bit of research and decide what area to move on to next but we now have glue so I can now make a water wheel so we can lose the dependence on this windmill um, so yeah I'll quickly see how long this episode is and if there's still time I'll show you what you can do with glue and what other things you can do in a heated stewing pot whatever you do, do not put in that concentrated hellfire dust that hellfire dust, do not put that in there apparently it blows up, I'm not going to try it because it might not just blow up, the gas might appear again so I'm not messing about but yeah, I'm quite proud of my very simple but effective bellow system. Look at that. I can do science, me. So yeah, we'll have a quick check on the time. I'm also due, I'm going to have to go do some good old Splunky and get down the caves because I'm running out of redstone and simple things like that. I've got to just stock up on useful things, sort out my inventory. So yeah, back in a sec let you know what's happening. Well we've got time to quickly make a water wheel but I'm desperately low on redstone so I'm either going to have to do a bit of normal exploring or maybe set up quick and easy access to say a branch line somewhere within my walls. Um, yeah I'm looking to replace this water wheel with windmill sorry with a water wheel but I'm not sure I'm <laughs> then I'm half tempted just to put the water wheel all the way up there and put a source of water running. But that might look a bit silly. So but I could always I don't know. Put a water wheel on the side or something. It's just everything's wired in to accept power from the top at the moment. It wouldn't take too much effort to jigger it around a bit I guess. And I can have it coming in from the side. But um we'll make our water wheel. So to make your water wheel you need quite a lot of these siding mould pieces. So um, I'm not sure if I can reconstruct sidings from mouldings. I can. That's handy. Um, how many sidings do you think I'm going to need? So I need 4 times 8 which is 32. If I'm not being silly. So I just need to turn you on. Blammo, turn you off. So now I can make my wood blades. So they are arranged like so, with glue holding them all together. So I can make eight wood blades. And then I arrange those in a wheel fashion. And I can make a water wheel. So now I place this on an axle, similar to now I built the windmill and it's a 5x5 five five area it takes up and it has to um, 
have running water along the bottom. So I could quite easily have the water wheel around the back here and modify the input so that the windmill's just there for show and it's actually receiving power from the water wheel. Um, and I might quickly do that because I should be able to salvage because these two gearboxes won't be needed anymore. sad doing this but it's for the best because wind power is not reliable enough so I'll just leave it spinning there looking nice from the outside but the truth is the power is now going to come from below so my saw will still be working But yeah, the input's actually going to be from out here now. Um, yeah, coming off the back here. And I'll just have the water wheel about here, I guess. Um, I'm going to have to come down before I can come along. too rubbish. It's a bit of a bodge job. It will be replaced with something much more appealing eventually. Um, so input's going to be down here. And then this, actually I don't want it there. I want it one up from there. I'll be sitting on a bit of wood. And my water wheel is going to be here for now. So the water wheel will sit there. I just need to dig the trench in which it will be resting and then put the water in it. Well, I'll put the water wheel on while she blows. Um, it's made that a bit more awkward. <laughs> uh, pop the water in. And she should spin. So now I've just got to check everything's still wired up correctly. But I've got all my input gears facing the correct way. Um, annoyingly now, actually, this acts as the master switch. Oh, oh shit, shit. Right, what that panic was about, I accidentally just turned these bellows on briefly. Ah, it's okay. There did used to be some of that concentrated fire stuff. You know, the hellfire dust in here with some coal dust turning into nether coal. So if that reaction hadn't finished and there was still some raw hellfire dust in here and I turned the bellows on, that was going to blow up. <sighs> so, um, yeah, this is now actually the master switch. So I'm going to have to add in another switch for the um, just turn this on and off but let me just see so that main switch now does nothing so that is inputting from there actually no the power's not reaching it's coming have I turned this off? That'll be on. so middle still works The saw still works, and now this is just here for aesthetic reasons. So my main switch. Oh, I've got that to the basement. Oh, the hob is still working. So yeah, now I have a safe means of power. It's never going to accidentally get turned off, but it is a bit fugly at the moment. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is after the, yeah between. The this episode and the next I'll gather some much more redstone and everything and maybe rebuild this, make it pretty and have another on off switch. So at the moment now I can't turn this off without turning everything off. I can, obviously I'll just knock the redstone torches off of here. 
and it no longer functions. If I want to just use this as a normal steering pot without the bellows. But yeah, I know that's not pretty. I'll fix it. I'll make it pretty. And then I'll take you through it next episode. But yeah, thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you soon.